So I guess it's time to finish the job of magnetizing this. I've already glued in all the magnet. But one thing I would say is that it is a lot more difficult to magnetize this than a Maylong. Because you see here, the Maylong has a really simple, just three piece corner, split corner design. And a really, really simple, just two piece split edge design, which comes apart right away. And it's not like the RSRM 2020 where occasionally they're difficult to come apart. It's so simple. However, this, the torpedoes are separate and the corner stalks are separate. And it's also got this annoying thing here, which makes positioning the magnet rather difficult. But nonetheless, let's get on to actually magnetizing, well, setting this up. So one thing that I've just noticed that I forgot about um, in the um, original video was that it even has an elasticity adjustment system. So I guess no, I think you need you need I need to find the tool to actually use it. But anyway, um, I'm just going to tighten the tensions and then um, yes, if I can tighten the tensions. <laughs> Okay, I can't tighten the tension. The screw is so tiny that I can't actually use it with a normal MOU screwdriver. Um, oh well. Fine, fine, fine. So, yep, yeah, there's so many weird things about this cube, I guess. <sighs> the screws are too small to actually use with the standard screwdriver. There probably is a screwdriver that works, but I can't find it right now, so we'll see. But anyway, let's try the cube. So, yep, I mean, it retains the original feel, but with magnets, making it more stable and better. So, yeah, let's check this out, corner cutting, nile, perfect, completely perfect, uh, is it completely perfect, is there a dead spot, nope, there is no dead spot for corner cutting, perfect corner cutting, and quite a good feel. I, I used reasonably strong magnets because um, I had a feeling the plastic was big, it was thicker than Maylongs so I didn't want to use the same magnets I used for Maylongs and yeah they, it does feel reasonably strong but not stupidly strong. I mean you could probably easily find cubes with stronger magnets than this. So So, yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. I am going to list the Neutrino version of this, um, because why ever not? Like, it's a good cube. Um, and, yeah, it performs really nice. I just cannot understand why they released a non-magnetic cube and didn't even release a magnetic version like this with it. I mean, it's just asking people like me to do it for them. I mean, that that's what it's going to be. And obviously, it's going to be more expensive than it otherwise would have done. Because, like, sorry, but I'm not... I'm charging more than they can... For magnetising services than they probably do in their factories with all their automation. I guess let's do some solves. So, my solves here were terrible. Obviously, solve three was a plus two. <laughs> and solve two was just absolutely terrible. So, yeah. But afterwards, I sat, I just sat down and um, used a more normal solving angle. And 
I was consistently averaging sub 10, which means the cube is good. Quite simply, if I average sub 10 with a cube, it must be good. I mean, I should be averaging sub 10 with pretty much every cube now. But I just need to turn more smoother, more smoothly, and yeah. But anyway, um, this is a competitor to the RS3M 2020, very much so. Um, it's going to be £14 on speedcubing.org for the <laughs> magnetic black mamba v3 and i think it is a very worthy competitor to the neutrino rs3 in 2020 so yeah i've if that's something you're interested in i mean it's got it does have a different it, i mean it's more reminiscent of chi it's it's the feel is probably more similar to the tornado v2 but with the issues fixed i do wonder whether tornado v3 is going to be somewhat similar to this but anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and you can buy this cube and over 400 other cubing related products at speedcubing.org.